Hello everyone, this is Sebastian Blanco. I'm here for Autoblog Green and Netscape.com. We're at the unveiling of the Tesla Roadster, which you can see right behind me. It is an all-electric vehicle, or all-electric motor-powered sport car. I think global warming is, is a very serious issue and, and it's something that, that we have to address and the only way to address that is, is to come up with a car that doesn't add carbon emissions to, to the environment and I think the, the way to do that is, is with electric vehicles. We are back here at backstage at the uh, unveiling of the Tesla Roadster. I'm here with uh, Martin Eberhardt, and thank you very much for speaking with us today. I just had a few questions. We just saw the first demonstration in front of the video cameras of the Roadster. It's a very quick car, and yet it's also an electric vehicle. In, in your mind, uh, which is more important? It's both. It's absolutely both. I mean, you can have a car that's quick, and you can have a car that's electric, but having one that's both is how you make electric cars popular. Whoa. Do you think that either one of those aspects would be a higher selling point for people, or is it the, the fact that they're both together is really what's going to attract people? That's right. That's exactly right. It's the idea that you don't have to compromise. You can have a, a car that is both a beautiful and desirable sports car and also the most efficient car on the road in the same package. That is a car that can go 0 to 60 in 4-ish seconds. Driving range of about 250 miles on the EPA highway driving cycle. Top speed of 135 miles an hour. Carbon fiber body, uh, extruded aluminum chassis, uh, full custom motor, custom battery pack, custom electronics, um, all the comfort and amenities you expect in the car, including uh, airbags, air conditioning, satellite uh, navigation system, satellite radio, heated seats, all, all the good stuff. You hear how silent it is? There's no sound. The opportunity is, is now, and, and the need is now, to have a car company of this, of this nature. And, you know, one thing I'd say to anyone who's considering buying this car is, <clears throat> you know, you're not, you're not just buying a sports car. You, you're actually helping pay for development of, of the mass market vehicles. Uh, the Tesla executives are not paid high salaries. We don't issue dividends. Uh, all money, all free cash flow goes uh, completely into uh, uh, driving the technology uh, to lower and lower costs and, and making it more and more available. And, and also, we're going to be working with uh, solar panel companies to offer solar options uh, along with the vehicle so that if you buy the solar option and you buy the vehicle, you'll actually be energy positive. You'll generate more miles in electricity uh, than you use in your daily commute. And, and so I really, I think we should all aspire to be, be energy positive in that way. Mm -hmm.